You know, uh, where I am king was really. I've I've always wanted to do a movie about, uh, uh, you know, um, some a character that uh, a grandfather because uh, I lost my own father five years ago and uh, I have my own children and I see uh, my father was a quiet man very but um, very he had a silent internal strength and confidence. Um, and he did while he did not do the same choices as, as, as Ricardo Villena in the movie, he had that inner strength and confidence. And he was a great grandfather to our ch- to our children. So I've, uh, when I lost him, I, I, I do miss him, and I, I thought I wanted to make a movie about a character like him, although not the same choices that he, that the character in the movie does. But the other thing about them, um, so this is really this story was really built developed between my wife and myself. My wife is a screenwriter, uh, really inspired by my father. And also, uh, we wanted to do a movie about, uh, about an old uh, a grandfather who, who goes bankrupt. I mean, he's rich, who goes bankrupt and, and, and has to go back to the place that he, you know, that he came from in order to kind of like uh, make up for some past mistakes that he had made that he never owned up to. So. Uh, and he gets his grandchildren, to to who's sheltered and rich, to get used to this life. But eventually, when uh, he finds out that um, he has to, I mean, we realize that that he's been doing this. He encourages his children to live like a fish a fish out of water in the old hometown, in order to also to make up for his past mistakes. So he's correcting his own history through his grandchildren. Um, I think um, what. Uh, Thematically, what really was interesting to me in in the story was the idea about you know he a man who comes up down to his choices between personal self enrichment and corp and social responsibility, and he finds you know basically he he realizes when he he has no money that there are some things that he failed in his sense of social responsibility. And he tries to make up for it. I mean I think I'm on, I'm 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 in my middle age and. I get a feel of of those things. I, I get a feeling of the ambition I have. I identify with the ambition, but I also identify with an idea of looking back and seeing, you know, making sure I I do something that I can leave behind. You know, I do contribute something. So I'm torn between those two things. And in the movie, uh, you have various characters that I really loved, uh, including I, I I loved all the characters, including. The not so good ones, you know, the the you know the selfish characters. I identified with everybody in this movie: the grandfather, um, and then the sheltered grandchildren who who are fish out of water in the poor place, um, and then also the 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 people of Tondo of that community, uh, who are, you know, uh, some of them are resentful and some of them are feel dispossessed and marginalized. But none of them feel like, see, the thing is, what uh, I wanted to make sure also I did in the movie was that there are a lot of movies that have been made about poverty and um, about Tondo in the Philippines. But, uh, and we knew that going in. So, but I wanted to make a movie about, uh, I wanted to make sure these characters, these poor people were not treated as victims. I wanted to make sure that they, you know, and they, that they come across as survivors. And they will take opportunities as they come, but they will, you know, and they will take help when they, you know, when it's there. But if there's no help, they will just, you know, they will just move on and they will forget about you and they just go on, you know. Now, I thought that this was an, uh, this is one of the things that was also a factor in, in the choices that Ricardo, the grandfather, makes in the movie. Uh, he real he all, I think it's also important that he realized that uh, or at least he has to make a choice whether to you know it comes down to do you help other people or I mean he realizes you have to help other people or else if you don't people will just move on and we, you leave nothing behind yeah, there's nothing left of you behind in their lives if you go if you just die and having help nobody. So I thought uh, these things were important for me, and that's why I thought of the doing this movie about you know a, a rich man losing his losing his fortune and having to having to relive a life in a different in a different 
uh, environment. It's back to his hometown, but it's no longer the same as it was. So those are, I think those are the, so those are the things I connected with, you know. I think uh, one of the things that was important that I realized uh, during the development of the story in the, pre-pro- in the pre-production period when I went to Tondo, see that whole idea of not being survivors but being, I mean not being victims but survivors, and also which, which affects Ricardo's sense of has he been helpful or is he just in denial? I mean, can he really help or do people move on without, can easily move on without him? These people are not victims, okay? These people will survive, are survivors, and whether or not anybody rich or, you know, company, corporation or government helps, they will survive and they have the spirit to survive. And that's what I wanted to keep.